Let's go out. Let's go out with joy. Yeah. Let's go inside then. Don't let me go. You are sweet. So why are you putting him in? Because Henri, our other rooster, is outside in the playpen with the girls. And we have two roosters who both have their hair on the side. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but we our fence was really uh, needed a bit of uh, care. So what we've done is that we went and bought those nice fences that were on special and we've changed the whole front of it. And uh, yeah, I hope, uh, and this is why Trevor is making sure we have this uh, wire because it's the little ones are so small that they can actually jump through it so this is why he's doing this here so yeah i'm we're gonna bring them all out soon and i think they're gonna enjoy it and by the way today is the eclipse day so we're gonna try and film how our animals will be reacting with this time of darkness that we will have here and uh, yeah stay tuned for that just be careful though when the First time with everybody, well, with the male, anyway. We're gonna, just gonna have to wait a little bit for the new cow. Whoa! <laughs> oh, be careful with that, my love. Just don't be in that. Where's the baby? It's running. Just be... It's the... Again. It's, this is Ezekiel 2.0. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nana. Okay, we have to get out when they'll come here.
can see my shadow much more. Yeah. So, so the ring is just kind of moving around. This might be about all the darker it gets, but. But yeah, it is darker than what? It's very dark. We're there a little bit. Like a, when the storm is coming. So what time is it, Trevor? And what's going on? 325 and 48 seconds. Uh, the eclipse is well underway. It's, uh, we're not in the area of totality. We're a little bit north of that. Right now it's 326 and it's really getting darker by the moment. And the animals are a bit wondering what's yeah. going on. Yeah, they're a bit wondering what's going on because it's darker, but they're not that bad. It's not just darker, it's colder. <laughs> the rays of the sun are being hidden, it's colder. So today I, I do have some squash that needs to, uh, to be used. Uh, that's our squash that we had in our garden last year and we kept over the winter in our garage. It kept all winter long, but now it needs to start going a little faster. So I thought I would make some chocolate chip cookies with squash. So I guess we could call that squash chocolate chip cookies something like that. So I simply used some squash and I adjusted a, a chocolate chip cookie recipe to go with it, a healthy one. So come along with me and we'll do that recipe. It shouldn't take too, too long. So I'm using butternut squash. You could certainly use a pumpkin puree that you can buy at the store or, or even zucchini that would work. Um, any squash really would make the trick. So let's go, let's start, and I uh, hope it will turn out good. We'll see. Okay, so first let me tell you what's in that recipe. So first we have three cups of flour, and then we have one cup of coconut sugar for our sweetener, and then we have one cup of oat, and we have two teaspoons of baking soda, and we have one teaspoon of salt. I use Himalayan salt. And then we do have, I like cinnamon, so I will put a good tablespoon of cinnamon. And then uh, the chocolate chip, um, chocolate chip, I'm gonna put a whole bag, which is about uh, a cup and a half or so. We love chocolate, so we like to put that in. And then I will put three quarter a cup of avocado oil. And then three quarter cup of plain yogurt. This is our uh, farm yogurt that we use, but you can just use plain yogurt from the store. That would work too. Our eggs, we'll use one egg. And here is my butter um, squash that I shaved and I did shave for two cups and this is what we are going to use. You don't need to, um, you don't need to cook it at all. It's just raw uh, shaving. Okay, so let's start our recipe. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so as I like to work a lot and not lose a minute in my day, I'll go ahead here and share my message with you. Sometimes I will hear people say that they know God, but when I ask them if they read and study the Bible, their answer is no or occasionally. Well, let me say something. The Lord Jesus Christ gave us his testaments, the Old and the New Testament, for us to know who he is and what he asks of us. He gave us the Bible so he could talk to us and answer all our questions. Dear viewers, we must go before the Lord with a repented heart and make sure we truly belong to Him. Because the Lord says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for as such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. 
And a little further in verse 46, the Lord Jesus says, Blessed is that servant, whom is the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So this is what we have to do. We must do what the Lord says. We must search what he has to tell us. So we must be ready to meet him. We must be sure that we have repented, that we are born again, that we are a new creature. So my dear viewers, my heart desire is that you would seek him. He is such a wonderful, wonderful Lord to follow. May we be ready and be found as that servant. I think they look delicious. Yep. So I think they turned out to be pretty good. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And um, so we're going to share this with family. And um, yeah, so until next time, I'm so thankful for you guys to be there and watching. And if you are new to our channel please subscribe it would be a pleasure to s visit with you again and um, yeah we are simply here to encourage to share with you what the Lord is sharing with us and yeah thank you so much put a comment down below if you want and put a thumbs up if you want and we'll see you next time God bless freshly baked cookies Lots of chocolate in there. Looks good. Squash, right? It said fluffy. Squash. Yep, nice and fluffy. It's good. I could probably eat the whole plate. <laughs> Very good.